high. It's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss further into differentiable functions and now look at this theorem of basically the function is di differentiable. It is continuous and go over a proof on this. And what I mean by that is, well, if we just look at this theorem, if f, the function f is differentiable at a, then f is also continuous at a right here. Or in other words, if f of a right here, um, the f prime of a or the derivative exists, then we have basically uh, f of a is continuous. Yeah, it's continuous, or or f is continuous at a, etc. That's that's if this uh, limit. I mean, if this derivative exists right here, and recall what it means to be continuous is basically, yeah, it's basically limit for for uh, definition of continuity is basically limit as x approaches a of f of x equals to basically f of a. And you can see more on this in the video link below on continuity. And this, so this is basically all we have to prove if we were to look at the proof. So we have to just prove this one right here, and I'll write proof right here but instead of proving this this in this form we could actually just look at the difference and to prove that the difference is zero and what I mean by that is limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a right here we we'll just have to prove this equals to zero right here and because if this f of x and f of a equal each other if they, if you subtract has to obviously equal to zero so I'll just write this way I'll, I'll show you why in a bit basically this is easier to work with uh, in the proof yeah, and basically I'll just write down need to prove this right here and also uh, now to get to the proof we are given that it's uh, differentiable or the or the derivative exists at a so we could write f of a is equal to limit as x approaches a we're just going to write the definition of basically a derivative right here and this is f of x minus f of a. this is at a point and this is x minus a right here remember it's just going to be rise over run uh, this is fx minus a this is x minus a right here and this is just run so this is another way of writing the definition of derivative so this exists that's what we're given so now what we could actually do is first uh, go back to our f of x minus a right here. So I'll go f of x minus a, and I'll basically multiply the top and bottom by x minus a. So this we could write f of x uh, minus f of a, and then let's go times it all by yeah by uh, x minus a. So I'm just going to uh, rearrange this. I'll show you why in a bit, and then divided by x minus a. So we're not changing anything, and we could divide because well x is not equal to a because remember x it's we're going to be dealing with limits and it's always going to be approaching a but it never actually equals a so now if we look at the limit of uh, just take the limit at both sides that x approaches a so we can go limit as x approaches a of this so f of x minus a yeah and equals on the right side limit as fx minus uh, f of a times uh, divided by a divided by x minus a times x by a and this limit as x approaches a so now if we use the uh, product law for limits here, you see that in the video link below, we could, we could just write this one as limit, yeah, as limit of uh, x approaches a of fx minus f a uh, divided by x minus a, and then times it by now on the right side, this uh, separate product right here, limit as x approaches a of x minus a right here. And if we look at this one, and uh, just this one by itself, as you can see, as you're plugging in, a right here in this x this is approaching zero right here so then in this case we're gonna have whatever this this number is let's go etc uh, put the two dots right here times it by zero right here and this equals to zero so this means that the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a is equal to zero so this is actually our proof so we've we've proven this is the same way as limit as x approaches a of f of x equals to f of a. So this is our proof right now. So we've just proven it. And to uh, just to be a bit more certain as the proof, if we were to write limit as x approaches a of f of x right here, and then if we add and subtract f of a on both uh, a on, on this, so we're not changing anything. So if we write limit as x approaches a, we'll put f of x in the center right here. So I'll, I'll add an f of a right here plus, and then subtract f of a on this side right here so we're not changing this f of x in any way this just equals to now using our addition subtraction law you see that in the video link below for limits this x approaches a now f f of a and then times this by and we can have 
this by itself and this and these two by itself. So limit, yeah, limit as a uh, fx uh, minus a of as x approaching a right here. So as you can see in these two one right here. So since we are given that uh, we found out that it's zero, this part right here. So this equals to uh, zero. Yeah, so that, that equals zero, but I made a mistake. This is an addition right here because there's, it's a plus right here, not a multiplication like the above. So now we're going to have, this is going to be limited as x per j of f a plus zero. And we could write down this one right here as, yeah, as basically as f of a plus zero. Because as you can see in this one, uh, limit as x per j, there's no x in here. So whatever x is, it's always going to be f of a in this limit. So it just equals f of a and this zero doesn't do anything. So f of a right here. So there is the proof and we could, we just proved that it's continuous. So make sure you watch the uh, video on continuity uh, to see that this is just a definition when we, when we just proved that it exists when it's differentiable. And now before I end the video, I just want to make uh, just one, one important note. The converse or opposite of this theorem is false. That is, there are functions that are continuous but not differentiable. So you cannot say because the continuous has to be differentiable. And in one example, actually did in my earlier video, I showed that uh, basically limit as x approaches a of absolute value of x this is actually basically as you uh, plug it in right there this just equals to absolute value of a in other words it is continuous except when we have limit as x approaches zero of uh, absolute value this uh, this as well equals absolute value of zero but this is not differentiable and in other words, basically the derivative at zero does not exist even though it's continuous. So just be careful with that. And you can see that in uh, my earlier video as well. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this quick proof on uh, basically if it's differentiable, it has to be continuous, but not necessarily the other way around. Well, anyways, uh, never you could also download these notes in a Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.